Everyone is Smart by Bradley Lands. I've never been a good test taker. Ever since I was in kindergarten, tests have always been difficult for me. I would always have to study hard, practice for hours, and get extra help. Tests just never came easy to me, especially multiple choice tests. I often found myself choosing the wrong answer. Most of the time, I would get nervous or anxious and overthink the question. I have always thought that there is more than just one right answer to a question and more than one solution to a problem. This has made it very difficult for me to choose the right answers on tests. Because of this, I grew up thinking that I wasn't smart. All of my other friends seemed to be able to pass tests with flying colors, even without studying. I used to hate it when they would finish a test and say, well that was easy, because I never thought any test was easy. What's worse, I would always be the last person to finish a test. For every test, I would have to reread each question multiple times and go back to check my answers. I would even convince myself to change some of my original answers. This process seemed to take forever, but this is what I did for every test. Most of the time, I actually did pretty well on tests, only because I studied and practiced a lot. I felt like I had to work harder than other students in class just to get good grades. Tests just seemed to be so natural and easy for them, I could never seem to understand why. When it was time to take the SATs, I was so nervous I could barely stand it. I studied, completed practice tests, and tried to prepare for the test as best as I could. When I took the test the first time, do you know what I got? A thousand. Back then, that was a total out of 1,600. It was like getting a 63% on the most important test I had ever taken. I was very disappointed. So, I decided to get a tutor to improve my score. I worked hard with my tutor twice a week for a few months and was beginning to gain my confidence back. Then when I got my score back from my second test, guess what I got? A 980. I did worse than I did on my first test, even with tutoring. I was devastated. Luckily, I was still able to get into a good college because I had good grades in school and I worked really hard. In college, I was still able to get good grades and I ended up getting a great teaching job, even with more low test scores. I realized that all my hard work had finally paid off for me. It wasn't until a few years ago when I read a book called Mindset by Dr. Carol Dweck that I finally began to realize that I was smart in my own way. The book was about the fact that human qualities such as intellectual skills could be cultivated through effort. This is what she refers to as the growth mindset. I learned three valuable lessons from reading this book. Number one, anyone can get smarter from education and practice. Number two, my intellectual strength was divergent, creative thinking. And number three, we should think of difficulties in life as challenges and opportunities for growth. After reflecting on my experiences in life, I realized that everyone is smart in their own way. Everyone has different strengths, which is why teams are often more successful than individuals. I also learned about an idea called multiple intelligences by Howard Gardner, who believes that everyone has at least one type of intelligence. For example, some people can be music smart, body smart, or people smart. These are all different types of intelligences that we as human beings possess, and one type of smart is not necessarily better than the rest. This is what helps to make the world go around, celebrating our differences and our multiple intelligences. So, I challenge you to figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are and use them to your advantage in life. Leverage your strengths and try to improve on your weaknesses, be proud of who you are and know that you can always improve your abilities with education, practice, and hard work. Created using Powtoon.